Now, while working on a bug on an open source uh, app called Spectrum, uh, while it is, I mean, it is a production ready app uh, and deployed on spectrum.chat, I got interested in uh, contributing to it because it got open sourced. Uh, its whole code got open open source, which is which is like astounding and baffling thing. Uh, WordPress also did something like that with uh, Calypso, their WordPress.com uh, dashboard, uh, very functional dashboard, and um, it, it's just it makes me so happy uh, that for learners like us, uh, which uh, I mean, which are which are not really in the intermediate uh, uh, level just yet but aren't beginners either and for example people like me who, who do not have a job and, and who want to learn and push their boundaries it is it is a very amazing thing to have happened so while working on a bug uh, um, on an issue on 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 spectrum I found a neat little component that I thought I should uh, make a video about just like that. Um, so I will do that now. It's called Outside Click Handler. And as the name suggests itself, it has something to do with that if the click or uh, yeah, if, if the click has happened outside of the component, uh, then you can do something. So for example, you can close down a modal window or you can close down a flyout menu or a drop down somewhere when, when it is clicked outside, when someone clicks outside of it. So it is a very handy thing that I thought um, uh, is very cool. So uh, let's see what is happening. So also, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, Spectrum is using Flow for its type checking, which is which I'm not aware of. Uh, I mean, I do not know Flow uh, much, but the typings that are used here are fairly straightforward. So we'll roll with that, and we do not we would not have any issues. We're importing React from React, and instead of the prop types. Uh, Instead of using the prop types package to um, type check our uh, uh, props that are uh, being passed, that will be passed uh, in this component, we are simply using the flow types. So we have a type called props, which is an object which has uh, properties children, which is of the type react node. And we have a function on outside click. Uh, this function will be called when someone clicks outside of this uh, uh, component uh, we'll see how we have a class outside alerter it extends react components with these props as the type definitions uh, and let's let's just see first what this component is uh, rendering so it is rendering a simple div which has a ref property we'll talk about that in a minute and it is simply rendering the children that is being passed to it. So it has to have, uh, this has to have a children, it has to have a React node. Uh, it, it is necessary that it is a React node um, because we have uh, uh, typed it so with, with, with the help of flow. When the component is mounting, when the computer sorry the when when the component has mounted we are uh, listening for mouse down event and when it happens we will call uh, our uh, handle click outside event so uh, as the name suggests because uh, we as the name suggests this function would have the code for detecting if the click is happening outside of this component and, and not inside uh, we'll see that uh, in a moment and as soon as the component uh, i mean when the component will unmount uh, we uh, we will remove the event listener uh, mouse down because we don't want that uh, event to be listening even when the react component is not there anymore and uh, so let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, what ref is so that we can go inside 
this handle click outside uh, component and and see what is happening so let's go over to react doc, docs uh, uh, and see what ref is so ref is basically uh, an escape hatch uh, which provides us the underlying dom node or the react instance if the ref is being uh, put on a react component so there are a couple of methods to put uh, there are a couple of methods uh, with which you can define refs on either dom nodes or react components we will use uh, the second one uh, in in this link you can check out and you should read if you do not know how refs are used i didn't know i had to read uh, before uh, uh, making this video so we will be using something which is called where did it go call back refs what we do is we put the ref onto in this case the dom node um, and we pass in a callback function which react will call automatically uh, when the component mounts mounts with with this dom node as the uh, argument to this callback function so if we see the set text input ref we are passing an element which is this dom node the html element uh, and what we are doing is as soon as the uh, react will call this callback function as we saw here uh, we can do anything with that element so in our component we are uh, assigning this dot i mean text input that element so that we can use this to do whatever we want to do so coming back to the code we have our callback function set wrapper ref which will help us get the dom node which is div um, uh, inside our this dot wrapper ref uh, wrapper ref uh, property of this components instance and um, then we can use this in our handle click outside function like so if there is a wrapper ref i mean we are fairly sure that this div exists um, and this dot ref uh, wrapper ref dot contain even dot target and not on that so this is basically saying that uh, this is the main check that is happening if the mouse down has happened uh, outside of this div because we have a ref of it so this is the div if the uh, mouse down has happened outside of sorry outside of this then only we have to call the on outside click function that we are passing as the props to this component so contains is a is a is a method uh, given by browsers it is in the browser apis uh, every html element has it so what basically so for example if you have uh, this kind of for let's just say uh, wrapper uh, i'm sorry the nested uh, nested down so if you will uh, if you will use contains so for example if div dot contains this will come to true div dot uh, contains this html element which is a span will come to true so basically any number of nested uh, elements in any number of nested elements we can use uh, the contains and it will it will tell us if this dom node is inside of this download or it is equal to so contains uh, contains also covers the case that this dom um, node is equal to this dom node which 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 is which we are using uh, as as our I mean as a leverage and uh, uh, so yeah this this basically tells that we are ensures that we are clicking outside 
of this downward. So uh, I have uh, stripped out all the flow typings and I have uh, put a simple uh, example out of it. So it is the same as the same code as we saw here and in the same logic except the flow things. So I have the outside alerter and I'm passing on outside click function as a prop which just uh, logs uh, click the outside. So our intended behavior is if we click outside this then we should uh, see this log otherwise not. So let's just uh, mouse down on uh, sorry inside uh, this component first and see that nothing should be happening. So false okay so what where is this false coming from I should just remove that uh or let it ha let it be uh, it does not matter so so okay so if we are clicking here then we are sure that we are not clicking outside as soon as we are clicking outside we are clicking outside <laughs> so that is basically the react component to detect if it is uh, the user is clicking on the component or not and it is very use reusable as you can see we can use we can wrap any component with this uh, outside alerter component so this was it if if something was not uh, if you didn't find anything uh, that you I mean you, you found anything you did not understand or if you would want to provide me any general feedback about this video, how I spoke, if I should have spoken louder or clearer, I know I have an Indian accent. So please let me down, uh, please let me know down in the comments below because uh, it will help me in making um, such videos uh, in a better way uh, in the future videos. Thank you.